I was at James Elementary in Kansas City, and a part of this lesson, I want to warn you, gets a little bit messy, but <laughs> it is all part of the lesson. At lunchtime here at James Elementary, the focus is on the food. But as they finish eating, the focus turns to the food waste. While most schools toss out the leftovers, these children know it serves another purpose. We take up a lot of space in our landfills with food. Uh, food that we don't eat, food that goes bad in the grocery store, um, food that gets, you know, thrown away from school lunches. Here, 95% of the lunchroom waste is composted or recycled. Kids call the compost flower food. They know it gets a second life as fertilizer. Because a lot of people waste stuff and that's not really good, but whenever you recycle something, you, you can use it all over. Most people, they just trash our work and we're trying to save it. Make it a better place to live. Now, here's where the lessons get a little messy. This is called a waste audit. Students look over all the food waste to visualize how much they're diverting from the landfill from just one lunch period. The majority of it goes to the compost pile. In the scheme of the world, it may be small, but to me, it's really big, and to them, it's really big. And for our community, it's huge. Now, last year, the five participating Missouri schools eliminated, get this, 21 tons of waste that would have gone to the landfill. Now, Wilson got grant money to cover all the costs, and she's getting a lot of interest, as you can imagine, from other schools about this. So we have links to more information on our website, KMBC.com.